If you use the Google Chrome browser or any other Chromium-based browser like Vivaldi, Opera, or the new Microsoft Edge, I will show you 10 Chrome extensions never seen before in the series that will enhance your overall browsing experience, along with my absolute favorite near the end of this video for advanced users. And we're getting started right now. First up is Print Friendly and PDF. This useful extension saves you on paper and ink by removing ads and other web junk that you don't need whenever you print a web page. Here's how it works. When you're on a page that you want to print, select the Print Friendly and PDF icon in the upper right. You'll notice the ads, navigation, and most of the junk on that page has been removed. You can also remove any images simply by clicking on them. You can also remove any text by clicking on the garbage can icon on any highlighted text that you don't need. Here at the top, you have the options to print, save as a PDF, email, reduce or increase the text size, and the size of the images on that page. Tab resize works great to personalize your Chrome setup. It lets you arrange tabs side by side to easily create split screen layouts. With multiple tabs open, it will resize the tab that you're currently on and those to the right. Choose the tab resize icon and choose the layout that you want. In this example, I'll choose one by two. If you want to create a custom layout not listed, click on the tab resize icon again and select the plus icon. Then enter in the number of rows and columns. For this one, I'll go with one by three. Click on save when you're done. You'll now see your custom layout listed. Just click on it to switch to that layout. If you've ever wasted time on a terrible movie or TV show on Netflix, the IMDb Ratings for Netflix extension just may be what you need. With the Netflix website opened, hover your cursor over the thumbnail for a TV show or a movie. You'll see the score in the upper right corner. This one gets an 8.2. If you click on the rating, it will open the IMDb page for that program, where you can gather additional information if needed. After doing the research on your PC, add them to your watch list to be viewed later on on your big screen TV. Life's too short to be watching these on your computer or phone. Hunter lets you find email addresses quickly from just about any company on the web. This can be useful if you work in sales or marketing or in any other profession where you require a contact's email address. It's simple to use. Just go to a company's website. I'll use the Hunter site in this example. Select the Hunter icon in the upper right. Now you'll see the names of the contacts along with their job titles and associated emails listed. You can save the lead by clicking on the plus icon. With limited use, Hunter is free for up to 50 requests. Otherwise, they have plans starting at $49 per month. Download Manager won't increase the speed of your downloads, but works great to quickly and easily interact with the downloads on your system. Instead of forcing a new tab to open, you can access a history of your downloads in the upper right corner by selecting the Downloads Manager icon. It also allows you to see the status of an active download. If you right click on any item in this list, it will give you additional options, including deleting that download from your disk or removing from this list. This extension is for the fans of the NBC hit show, The Good Place. I'll admit this one is more for fun, but does have some useful features. For example, it has an obscenity filter, which replaces bad words with other words that are less offensive. This might come in handy if you have children that share your computer. Over on YouTube, it changes the thumbs up, thumbs down with good place, bad place. And this extension replaces the new tab page with the characters, photos, and quotes from the show. Selecting the good place icon gives you the various settings that you can turn on or off. Some of you might remember Dark Reader from an earlier video on this channel. It basically gives a dark mode to almost any website. It's a very cool extension. For those of you that ran into issues with Dark Reader, the free and open source Dark Night Mode extension is another one to consider. Unlike some of the other similar extensions, it does not simply invert the colors. 
so black on websites will not automatically change to white or vice versa. Selecting the Dark Knight Mode icon gives you various settings. You can turn it on or off. Switching it to Auto will only turn on Dark Knight Mode from 8 p.m. until 6 a.m. I'll turn it back on. You can adjust the brightness. And you can also whitelist specific sites if the Dark Mode is not needed. There's even a handy Donate button if you want to contribute to the developer. This will be a quick one. I don't care about cookies, we'll remove those annoying cookie warnings which are required as part of the overreaching European Union data regulations. Just by installing this extension, it removes the cookie pop-ups. That's it, nothing more to see here, so let's move on. Custom Cursor for Chrome is a fun little extension that allows you to customize the cursor that you use while browsing in Chrome. It's quite popular, but will only be useful for those of you that have been asking me for a way to change your cursor. Here in the upper right, click the Custom Cursor icon. They have many available for you to choose from. I'll go with the Neo Matrix cursor here at the bottom. To change back, go back to the icon and select Default Cursor. Here at the bottom of this window, you have the option to upload your own creation and clicking on more cursors will take you to the custom cursor site where they have a massive collection for you to choose from. NoScript is truly one of the best security and privacy extensions that you can get. It preemptively blocks malicious scripts and allows JavaScript, Java, and other potentially dangerous content only from the sites that you trust. It's been a must-have extension on Firefox for years and has finally made its way to Chrome. I'd only recommend NoScript for advanced users because it does take some time to get it just right, but it's well worth the effort. Let's go over the basics. I'll use the ESPN website as an example. After the website is loaded, here in the right-hand corner, it will show you the number of blocked items on the NoScript icon. In this example, it is blocking six. Clicking on the icon, it is blocking three domains by default which has prevented a lot of content from loading, including advertisements, and you'll notice some of the images have not loaded as well. You have four choices for each domain listed. Temporarily Trusted will only allow those domains for the current browser session. Selecting Trusted will remember your preference and make it permanent. Untrusted will always block that domain. And the fourth option will allow you to customize your settings for an individual domain. Only use it once you have become more familiar with NoScript. Let's go make some changes to make the site more appealing. Depending on the website, it's best to only trust one or two domains at a time before making any other changes. For this one, I'll select Trusted for the top two domains. And then select Reload. You'll now see that additional images and content here at the top has now been added, making the page look better. By allowing those two domains here on ESPN, you can see that other domains, including trackers, are now listed here in NoScript. In this example, I've made the determination that some of these are not needed and most likely won't be required on most other sites. Although the default level is untrusted, to make sure they don't slip through on other websites, I'm going to set them to untrusted over here on the right. That about does it for the basics of NoScript. Hopefully this mini tutorial gave you a better understanding on how to use it. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up. What is your favorite Chrome extension? Let me know about it in the comments. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe and click the bell notification icon for more amazingly useful videos and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.